Impy Water Guard is a 1mm thick self adhesive membrane for wet room floors and walls, compatible with all powdered flexible wet room adhesives and grouts. Water Guard also incorporates class leading decoupling properties of 10mm, eliminating the need for a separate decoupler. This video guide shows a typical installation on two walls and a wooden floor. Any installation, of course, should be carried out with full reference to the supplied instructions. The floor structure needs to be prepared in accordance with the relevant British standards before tiling. Ensure the floor and work area is clean and dry and remove any sharp protrusions. Apply the supplied primer to all porous surfaces that will be covered by the membrane. The EasyFit deck is not porous and should therefore not be primed. Once dry, you can begin to fit the preformed corners. We recommend removing the back covers one at a time. Gently guide the adhesive surface onto the floor to wall junction and gently smooth over. Repeat for all internal and external corners. Using the jointing tape provided, equally line all wall to floor junctions with 75 mm of tape. It's important that these locations are always taped, regardless of whether installing on walls or floors. Do the same to any affected vertical junctions. Releasing the backing paper in small stages will help in the process and allow for any minor adjustment. Most installers prefer to tank the wall first as it reduces the risk of damaging the floor membrane whilst working on it. Measure 1 meter vertical intervals on the wall. This will determine the centre of the tape position. Cut to size and, beginning from above, gently peel back manageable sizes of the backing paper and smooth down by hand until the tape overlaps the layers at the floor junction. Repeat until all wall sections are defined. You are now ready to apply the main water guard membrane. Position the edge of the membrane so that it's aligned with the centre line of the vertical tape. Gradually remove the release paper and carefully set into position as you move down the wall, pressing down firmly until finally overlapping the jointing tape at the bottom. Ensure that there are no air bubbles in the membrane as you apply it. Repeat the process for the next wall sheet, allowing a gap of 2-3mm for sealant which will be applied later. With the walls covered, the floor will now be waterproofed. In a similar way to the walls, measure 1 meter intervals to determine the center of the tape. Begin by laying the first piece of jointing tape centered at 1 meter from the wall, or 925 millimeters to the tape edge. Repeat this process across the entire wet floor surface at 1 meter intervals. Before laying the membrane, you must first ensure that the clamping ring has been removed and set aside with the securing screws, and that the cutting guide has been placed in the center of the waste. Beginning in the corner, measure across the room and cut the required length of membrane. Gradually remove the release paper and carefully set into position whilst overlapping the jointing tape. Allow a 2-3 mm gap for sealant as before. Try to avoid leaving any air bubbles or wrinkles. If there are any, smooth them out but do not puncture the membrane. As with the jointing tape, releasing the backing paper in small stages helps make the process much easier to complete. Repeat until the entire floor is covered, including the drain. The penultimate stage is to locate the drain aperture and the inside edge of the cutting guide. With a hook knife blade, carefully cut the membrane around the inside of the guide. Remove the offcuts and then press the edges of the membrane into the dished area of the drain bowl. Replace the clamping ring and screw down with four screws. It's important to tighten the screws by hand. Do not use power tools. Finally, apply the sealant to all gaps between the membrane and all wall to floor junctions and carefully smooth the sealant over. Note the sealant will always remain flexible and tacky to some degree to aid the decoupling properties of the membrane. That completes the tanking process. The WaterGuard membrane can now be tiled on without any further delay. WaterGuard is available in a range of wall to floor kit sizes and additional preformed internal and external corners can be purchased separately if required.